Welcome to another episode of Tazkir Unlimited. This is Waqas. I hope everyone is doing well. I want to talk about something that I struggle with on an everyday basis. And I assume a lot of people struggle with on a daily basis. As we all know that a lot of people are staying home. Some people are partially working. Some people are working full time. In fact, over time. I want to give my special gratitude to all those people who are working in the hospitals from housekeeping to the doctors and especially those are people who are the frontliners. But we should not forget the people who are working in the grocery stores and restaurants who are providing all the facilities and resources. So while we are staying at home, we have plenty of time that we could use towards lots of khair. But we find out a lot of time gets wasted in lots of distraction. Since we are surrounded by lots of gadgets in our house, whether it be Facebook or streaming services, PlayStation, Xbox, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, it consumes lots, lot of our time, which is valuable and distracts us from focusing lots of khair. I want to share some tips that how we can make this time valuable by regulating our time. In fact, the major sources of distraction in our life these days are the cell phones. In fact, cell phone has everything that takes our time, valuable time away. So two examples, one from Quran and one from Sahaba that we take. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned the sifat of those people who doesn't get distracted by their business or their work. In Surah An-Nur, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, tijaratun wa an wa wa salati wa ita izaka. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, by the men whom no trade or sale makes them neglectful of their members of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even though they're busy in their business, but it, it doesn't distract them to for the towards the call of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, towards the members of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In another place from the life of the Sahaba, one Sahabi Abu Talha radiallahu ta'ala anhu, one of the Ansari Sahabi, he was praying in his garden, and a wild bird flew in and began to fly while he was praying until this bird could not find its way out. And Abu Talha radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he began to follow the bird. And when he got back to his salah, he didn't realize, he didn't remember which words he was reciting. He went to Rasulullah sallallahu mentioned this incident. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa mentioned to him to give some sadaqah in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So even though he did not commit any crime, but he compensated for the mistake that occurred unintentionally. So if we want to use our time wisely, we want to make sure that we put a check on our time, we regulate our time. If we want to sit with our family while we are doing dinner or lunch, we want to make sure that we put our phones away. So let's learn how to use these two different apps that will help us regulate our time while we are at home. Welcome back. So on all Android phones, there's a feature called Digital Wellbeing, and I believe it is pre-installed on all Google stock um, Android phones. Uh, I'm not sure about the LG and Samsung, but there may be some feature available on those phones. So I'm going to go into settings and from settings, um, basically there's a setting called digital well-being and parental controls. Uh, and then it gives you a dashboard that tells you about how much time have you used today. Um, so I've got about 12 unlocks, 55 notification, 36 minutes, uh, and all the apps that I've used. So in the dashboard, it gives you a detailed um, overview of your each app that how much time. Uh, from here, you can also set up a timer. So on my uh, phone, I have set up a timer on my YouTube that I don't use uh, my YouTube for more than 45 minutes. So if I use 45 minutes, it's gonna block the YouTube for me to access it. And that really helps. Um, if you continue to do it and make habit, then hopefully this time will uh, get reduced and we will only use these apps for uh, legit purposes uh, and valid purposes. Uh, other than that, uh, Windown is another option that we can use. Basically what it does, if you start Windown, uh, it, we can schedule different days and it just um, starts at a certain time and it turns your phone to a grayscale, reduce the brightness and then turn your phone into a do not disturb mode. Um, this is another option that people can really find helpful. 
uh, I don't really use it. Uh, there's another mode called focus mode. Uh, what does this do? Um, it basically schedule um, your time, it schedule your phone to pause all the distracting apps uh, when you t when you need time to focus. So I've got all these apps um, basically added in that focus mode that it turns off these apps at nine o'clock until six a.m. So I can't really use my phone for these apps during that time. So it really helps. Uh, other than that, it's got, you know, some notification management and do not disturb and parenting. So I don't have, um, I have small kids, so I don't use parental controls, but you can control your kid's phone if they have an Android phone as well. So that's about it. So if you don't have digital well-being, uh, you can download an app called Digitox and there's other apps as well. Um, so what does this do? It's about the same as digital well-being. Um, you just need to figure out what it tells you your total usage of your phone, you can set daily limit um, every day, uh, you can do individual apps as well. Um, that's about it. So on iPhones, uh, there's also a feature called screen time, just like the digital well-being. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people already know about it, but a lot of times we don't really dig into our phones. Um, so if you go to settings, uh, in settings, there's a feature called screen time. And it gives you the same information like your everyday usage uh, for your phone that how many, uh, if you want to detail, uh, it tells you that how much time have you uh, spent um, in each and individual app. And then based on different apps, you can set a time um, just like I spend seven minutes on YouTube and I can add a limit of, you know, maybe 10, 20 minutes, however I want to use my uh, time with YouTube. So it helps us regular time on a daily basis. And, uh, we can also do downtime, uh, basically what it does, it, it turns off all the apps that distracts you and um, at a certain time, you can do it every day or maybe you can do certain days um, or, or however you want to do it. Uh, and there are other options that you can do, like you can also control your kid's phone if they have an iPhone uh, by setting up a parenting control through this option. Uh, just keep in mind that this is just a way of controlling our phone. Uh, we still need uh, taqwa and fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to stop ourselves from committing any sin and disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we have to make an effort to gain taqwa through other, of course, ways. But this is just a way to uh, monitor our time and regulate our time, what we spend on our phone. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to do that. Uh, I hope uh, this will uh, benefit everyone. Until my next video. والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.